Welcome back you beautiful people and welcome to a brand new series. I'm going to be showing you snippets of my whole journey, the ups, the downs, the funny bits. Blood, sweat and tears is going to go into this series. This is the most ambitious undertaking I've ever done and it's the biggest series of videos I've ever done as well. I'm going to be building the ultimate mountain bikers van. I've always been interested in overlanding, camping, taking the family on holiday, off-roading, just being in the great outdoors. Slightly exhilarating. Watch your hand, make sparks! This, my friends, is Blake Build's van life, powered by Works Tools. So for this massive project, I'm going to need a little, well, maybe a lot of help from my friends. So first up, I've called upon my very good friend, Martin Jones. Martin is a mechanical guru who knows all that is needed to make this dream of mine happen. Secondly, I've also teamed up with one of the most respected power tools company out there, Works to make sure I've got exactly the right tools for the job. Drills and drivers, lights, angle grinders, saws and plenty more. I'm all tooled up and I'm ready to rock and roll and drill some holes. Right, first things first, let's find a van. Mr. Jones? Yep. Are you ready to help me find a van? Just got to finish this game of solitaire. Solitaire, minute, and then... okay, cool. Well, I'll let you carry on with that. There's a few places you can look for a van. Uh, you can go to an auctions, you can go uh, privately or you can go to some dealerships. For us, we're just going to sit in this nice warm office and we're going to scour the internet looking for the perfect van. And I got Mr. Jones to help me. You've got oh. some ideas, haven't you? I've got some ideas, yeah. Let's have a look. We want a Porsche Panamera <laughs> GT. <laughs> we haven't got that much money. <laughs> <laughs> Found it. This Blake, is it. We have Blake Builds all episodes complete and done in one video. No, yeah. We just buy this. This is going to pick it up. Look at that. Well, you, actually, it's like £50,000 plus VAT. That is a bit steep. Uh, my budget doesn't even stretch that far. We digress. So let's go back Continue. to reality. Back to reality. Lowest price first. Lowest price first. <laughs> this is the one. <gasps> Private seller. So I have to do some. There's no checks. VAT included no there. VAT. So I have to just do some checks when we get there. Hello, mate. Yes, I am ringing up about the advert you've got on uh, Auto Trader about your Ford Transit. Is it still available? Oh, amazing! Great. Thanks, John. Wicked. Wait. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Right. It's very far. It'll be it's fine. Like, it's like four hours away. We're gonna run out of fuel. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Right, today's the day we're going to go see a van. I'm so excited. We've seen a van, we've done a lot of hunting online, looking at so many different places where people sell their vans. So if we get there and it's like terrible, we got a three and a half hour drive back empty handed. But it's all part and parcel of finding the best van we can find for this build because uh, we don't want a rubbish one, man. We don't want a rubbish one. Got my grab bag, my kit so we can go and vlog the hell out of this and go look at this van. So just run b-roll of us just eating loads of snacks, driving on motorways, swapping driving and all that rad jazz and drinking drinking a hell of a lot of, hell of, a lot of caffeine. Right, let's go. Taxi! Taxi you Blake! <laughs> yeah that's me. Alright, we're off. We are 2.8 miles away from our destination, but we're nearly there. I can smell van. There it is. Right, we're switching to a smaller camera, more discreet. Yeah. I'm no stranger to buying a second-hand vehicle, but Martin has given me a short list of things we need to check before yeah. buying a van. Some makes and brands have notorious issues. When looking for leaks, make sure you look in the engine bay and underneath the vehicle. 
Also oil there. Wear and tear on moving parts. A big one is rust and the bodywork. Yeah. Make sure you find one that's got as least rust as possible. Tires and suspension and service history is something that we need to check. You know what you're saying about brakes? Mm. These ones are right there. These aren't the same as the... They're not the same. Normally, no. Can't make a hell of a noise when you try it. What do you reckon? Usually steering wheel. Definitely usually steering wheel. <laughs> oh yeah, look at it. Used to be this company's van. Initial. Cleaning products, like sanitizing van. So it's got a, a strong sense in the van of cleaning products. Pretty tidy looking van. I'll let Mr. Uh, Mr. Jones take it for a drive, obviously because he's more mechanically minded. He, that's his job. He's a mechanic and it's good. Little word of advice. If you have a friend that's quite mechanically minded and knows what he's looking for, get him to take the car for a drive because he will know everything. He works on these cars a lot. He'll know the steering, he'll know the clutch, he'll know the gearbox. He will feel like, it'll. he'll make sure he knows what he's looking at, feeling what he's, anyway, he's driving the van. And I'm going to sit here. I trust Martin. I've known him for a few years. He is quite nerve-wracking buying a vehicle, especially if it's a lot of money. You're like, oh, is it going to be worth it? I sold my Jeep to buy a van, a big box van. <laughs> well, that's it, Martin. Mm -hmm. What have we done? Bought a transit. <laughs> we bought a van. <laughs> <laughs> We've pulled over just to look at the van and look at the cubby holes. It actually drives really well. I mean, obviously, what you do is look at all these things after you boil. A little lucky after you boil, because then you might want it back. There might be some PX gold, they call it. P part, what's that? Part exchange gold. Oh, right, yeah. I mean, it's not a part exchange, but it's the same thing. Oh, what's, oh what, what have you got? got? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's raining receipts. Got, what is that? Um, Lex Auto Lease. Looking after your tyres, that might be important for you. Yeah. It's sure that's you used to. Dude, it's still raining receipts. Oh, here we go. I'll we'll hit the jackpot. Wow. I'll we'll hit the jackpot. This guy has not done his rec receipts. Oh! You got some riding gloves. Look at this. Freshies. Look at them. These, do they fit though? I mean, I'm sorry if I was stealing them. You, you can have them. But it's still raining receipts. Mm. Guy went to Morrison's loads. Oh, Nope. An unused towing eye, which is a rare sight in the Ford Transit. <laughs> oh, does that mean this is going to break down? <laughs> What's that? I mean, oh my god. What's I that? It. I wouldn't touch it. It's a noodle. It's a noodle. I tell you what, this van, this van smells incredibly sanitary, like clean. Yeah. But it needs a good clean. It does need a good clean. We've got so much to do. I mean, I'll start. I'll start the job off with you. Here we go. I need to know that. We don't need that where we're going. <laughs> yeah. It's going to get even higher than what it says there. Yeah. We're back after a very long drive. We found the van, we've bought the van, we searched high and low for this van. This is the Ford Transit H3 L3 350. All those numbers and letters mean something when I was looking for a van to convert. Now, 350 stands for the capacity that this van can carry. It's a heavyweight van, so you can put a lot of weight in the back, which is a good thing because we are gonna put a lot of weight in the back. Now, H3 is high three. It's a high top, it's the highest van you can get, L3 means it's long wheelbase. You can get an L4, which is a jumbo, but it's, that's massive. And I don't want to be driving a humongous van around. I thought this was the best one. This is a front wheel drive van as well, which is a good thing. 
Why? Because if you were to buy a rear wheel drive van, you're basically losing this much headroom in the rear. Here's an example of that. There you go, rear wheel drive van. You lose that much. Front wheel drive van, look at that difference. See, that is a rear wheel van. This front wheel, it's in clean condition. There's a few scratches here and there. I've actually stuck a dent in it already. Welcome to van life, Mr. Sampson. <laughs> Put a dent in it. There we go. Javan is the name of this van. Why? Well, Jeff the van, Jeff the Jeep. I sold Jeff the Jeep to buy this. There you go, Javan. Right, let's get our hands oily because we're going to be digging around in the engine bay because there's a hell of a lot of lights on my dashboard. Looks like a Christmas tree. Okay, so got the van in the garage, but there's one thing that M Martin does not like. Listen to this, ready? He does not like that sound. And actually, to be honest, I don't like that sound either. So we're gonna cut that wire right now. I think what it is you gotta do is do that. <laughs> and I think now if you go and try it again, see what happens. Okay, let's go and try that again. Yeah. Ah, ah. No more noise. Let's get this outside because uh, we've got a few codes on here that need to be addressed. So what are we doing, mine? We're doing a DPF regen. It's need to call temperature to be a bit higher, but DPF regen is pretty normal. I think it's because it's got that 70 mile an hour limit on the well, back. We need to remove that. We need to remove that, yeah. Are well, we going to remap this thing? We're going to make it faster. It just needs to be a bit hotter. What's the temperature there? It's uh, in the middle and it's got that. Gone. Engine light off. Nothing to worry about. Now it's sat at two and a half thousand revs. The computer's doing all the work, basically gonna clean out the exhaust. It can take up to 50 minutes. Yeah. That means that exhaust's gonna get so red hot and hopefully clean out the gunk out of that catch fire. And hopefully not catch fire. Hey, hey, hey we just bought the van. Look at that, it's always nice when it says that. Oh yes, tick. Caught you. With the list as long as my arm of things to fix, we better get dug in and get our hands all greasy, man. Because this is gonna be a steep learning curve for me. Timing chains, dead. Always wanted to do one of them. Right, let's see what it looks three. like. Yeah, here we go. Here we go, the other way. That's it. Oh, oh that's where I left uh, it. it anyway. <laughs> Pull that, that way. Yeah, I got yeah. it, got it, yeah. Right. Right, we're gonna see what the inside of this engine looks like. Gonna change the oil. Do the timing chain. Do the timing chain, see what the air filter looks like. Um, do bits and bobs to it. By the way, this is Martin, if you don't know Martin, Innovate Automotive. I've been here a few times, we built a bike rack bike together. Rack, yeah. We've done a few things together. Everyone will remember that. Yeah, everyone. Right. But we're gonna take the whole front off because we're gonna change some of this as well. So take, the... well take all this off now, make it easy for ourselves. Take it all off. And I've got to fix it. this front bumper. Anyway. You have got to fix the front bumper. Yeah. Right, let's, so let's, uh, uh, let's get oily. Let's get oily. First bolt out. Four clips. And we've broken one already. I'll just have you know, Blake broke it. Definitely wasn't me. Blake definitely did this. Don't need this bit. This <laughs> is so where we find out it's been in a crash. So we've, take, we've taken the bumper off so we can get to the side of the engine a lot easier yeah, instead the of going through easier. there. Yeah. The bumper had to come off anyway because we've treated, we've got to repair the front bumper and we've got to wrap to it. So once the bumper's all done, it makes sense to take off at the same time. It's yeah. so much easier rather than reaching through this tiny little tiny gap. Tiny little gap. Now got all this, this room around here. Amazing. You can see the side of the engine. That's the air box. 
We should see what that looks like because I'll pop it open. I feel like that's going to be uh, something of a surprise in there. I wonder really? when it's been done. Because he said it was serviced. He did. He did. <laughs> I mean, that's not so good, that's is it? That's not good. Look at it. I think we need a new one. Hold on a minute. Oh, you got one already. That's what, what it's supposed to look like. Not like that. Done. Service complete. Finished. Finished. If you want your van serviced. Blake's van servicing services. Blake builds van service. Blake builds van services. <laughs> That'd be a big t-shirt. Yeah. So we're just checking brake pad wear, but you've got a wear sensor anyway, so the light would come on. But you can see the actual backing of the brake pad. It's quite a meaty pad in there. Yeah, thickness. I mean, you can see the, wear, the plastic wear indicator. Let me get a do driver. The wear indicator is actually there that you can see it comes out. So you've actually only got a millimetre, two millimetres of brake pads left for the wear indicator. Two millimetres equals 2,000 miles? Mm, yeah, it depends on how you drive. So now we've got to do this. Get that pulley off. Yeah and taking this cover off the timing chain, access inside, change that. Because it looks like it hasn't been changed. <laughs> On inside the headlight. Yeah, it looks really good. Very interesting in there. What makes my wheels go around? With yeah. my timing chain, my oil changed, and my air filter swapped out and all done, it was just time for my diesel filter left. This would hopefully be the last thing we do to the engine before we start yeah. the exciting bits. Okay, I got a step here. That's a bit redundant, so I'm going to remove it because it doesn't really, it doesn't work. Try to fix it. I thought it would be handy, but it doesn't work. So I'm going to take it off. Saving weight, man. You're welcome. Do you want it for your van? All right. Look at that. He just threw it up. <laughs> Over there. Oh, we don't need that. Biscuits. I love biscuits, right? Whilst we wait for some parts to be delivered, I'm going to adjust, address my rear end. I don't like this bumper. It looks disgusting. Very industrial. One way to take your shins out, so I'm going to remove them. And it's got parking sensors in it, which I might take out and relocate them in my bumper. So I've got them, so I don't hit anything on the back. But I am going to replace that light up there. It comes with a camera in it when I'm reversing. So don't really need the parking sensors. Anyway, I'm going to remove this ugly thing so it looks nice and slick. Take one more bolt, one more bolt out, come on. Oh. Oi! <laughs> yep, it's off, watch this. Ooh, look how much more sexier that looks. That thing weighs a ton. I was so scared it was gonna drop on me, but it didn't. with diesel everywhere. Oh! Dude, brah! Oh, no! In you go. In you go. Oh, wow, look how dirty that is. So much diesel in there. Oh, it's everywhere. Now that should just pop 
off. Oh, I just fell off. <laughs> One diesel filter. Should have put gloves on. They shall wash them straight away. This is the new boy. New guy. Look how dirty this one is. It is moist, but it is, uh, yeah, diesel going everywhere. New one, put a bit of oil on that. <laughs> Who would have thought you'd be subscribing to GMBN to watch mountain biking? We're doing some car van maintenance. All for a good cause though, man. This thing carries around our pride and joys and takes us to where the, the fun is. That's what I'm doing. Building something to take more fun with me. All right. You ready, Blake? Ready. Oh, it sounds so much smoother. No rickety tickety 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 noise. That, my friends, is a sweet motor. <laughs> what? Well, 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 that's my first ever timing train I've ever done. Yeah. All on, on your own? Well, with a bit of hand, obviously. It's got fresh oil, fresh diesel filter, fresh oil filter, fresh air, air filter, filter, chain, we've got to top up a few levels, double check everything, ready put to a, go. Put a front end on. That's it. That's it, we bought a van. Lake Bills, what yeah, are you building next? Well, well <laughs> mate, we, we've got so much to do. This is right at the beginning of us finding a van, buying a van, fixing a van, going over it with the help of Martin. And uh, next episode is all about the rear end of this van. I'm going to totally gut it because we need to get a blank canvas start building a frame in episode two and going through the whole plan for the living quarters in the rear. We've got some good Stay ideas. Stay tuned. Yeah, we've got, we've got, good, got ideas. some good ideas. Stay tuned. See you next time. See ya. Oh, that's good. Cup I should come around the corner and go, what's up, you beautiful people? <laughs> <laughs>